Now, finding your life partner has to be one of the most momentous times in someone's life. Dumi and Zippo surprised the whole nation two weeks ago when they promised each other forever at their gorgeous wedding. Their lavish ceremony is one of the most romantic gestures we have seen in a very, very long time. And I think it had every woman wishing that they were the bride. So we want to know from you, what relationship advice would you like to ask the newlyweds? Head over to our social media play pages and don't forget to use the hashtag Afternoon Express on your comments. Now let's have a look at a beautiful moment when Dumi sang a song he composed for his wife at the oh, wedding. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the invite, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> so congratulations. Thank wow, you, thank you so, so much. You looked incredible. Oh, I thank you very much. What a bride. Thank so you. how did you guys meet? Um, Was so it love at first we, sight? We, oh, we, not we, really. No, yeah. <laughs> we, we met, I think we were, we were eight um, oh, wow. at yeah. church. Yeah. Uh, because her, her dad is, is my bishop. Yes. And um, so I think the first conference that we were in together that's when we met and we, we used to play outside together with the other kids yes. while Sweet. church was going on and yeah so that's we've known it. each other ever since and we, we we became friends yeah and yeah. how long did you date for before you popped the big question um we in courtship brother yes not dating um okay. since late last year <laughs> okay yeah nice then how did he propose oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what was nice was that uh it was quite a private there was nobody there. Uh, yeah, uh, not much. He was just somewhere. And then I didn't, because I don't know if you know Lobola, but I yes. knew that he was going to come at home for yeah. Lobola. I know that I want a lot of cows. <laughs> <laughs> My Lobola is going to be very <laughs> pricey. <laughs> so I knew that he was going to Lobola, but um, he surprised me by proposing about a week before he yeah. went for Lobola. And then he just, yeah, it was just the two of us. And he just went down on one knee and he proposed. Oh, I was yes, really I did. shocked. Thank yeah, you he much. went down Good on one knee. Good for you for being <laughs> romantic. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about the wedding. It looked so lavish, oh, so so stunning. Yeah, 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 it was the best day of my life, and I always, I actually always thought I'd just have a very small wedding, yeah. very very small, with no one there. But um, I was like, you know what? Let's just go all out. We didn't invite a lot of people, but it was just really really a fairy tale. Oh. And then um, uh, two days later, we had our traditional kind of women bear, so yeah. on the Saturday, which was also just a dream come true. Oh, we I mean, really, all time. of your dresses were just outstanding. Oh, thank so you so beautiful. much. We had the time of our lives whilst That's he good. was working, I was planning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was great. It was really great. And the journey towards um, our our wedding, I, I think I enjoyed that more than anything. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was really, really nice. Just kind of, you know, it was quite private. We expected people yeah. to, to, it wasn't a secret. And I think people think we were trying to make it a secret, no. Well, because why did, you got married on a Thursday. Oh, yes. Yes. Why did you choose during the week? I think for me, it's something that I've always wanted. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also my wedding, I wanted my wedding to be just my family. Yeah. And um, I so get we, that. we had to, we had to bring on, um, pastors as well from our church yeah. and um, a few dignitaries that of people that we know yeah. um, but we just wanted it to be family yeah. um, we both wanted it to be during the week and then on the weekend we did the Membeso part yeah. which is yeah. the traditional one and yeah. Um, yeah it was for, for us it was just amazing Perfect. everything that we wanted yeah, yeah. And, and then what was the controversy surrounding it <laughs> so the controversy was that there were some ladies. I apparently. heard there was a bit of scandal. <laughs> what? I need to know. I, I need you to tell me the full story now. <laughs> so what? there were ladies that um, there was a lady um, who actually went on uh, into a newspaper and said that um, I had promised to marry her. Yeah. And I left on Thursday morning saying that I'm going to shoot a music video. Yeah. Uh, only to find. Did out. you know this lady? Okay. She, uh, firstly, uh, she apparently it's exist. Amanda. Amanda something Bengu. Yeah, um, I'm related with uh, Bengal people. 
I don't know who she is. Yeah. She says that um, she sent uh, the, the media people a WhatsApp conversation. Yeah. I do not have WhatsApp. I've, I haven't had WhatsApp since 2014 yeah. um, for my privacy reasons. Um, also, you know, the whole thing around it saying that um, I was hiding the whole thing. Yeah. I planned the wedding because, with I mean, Zipo on a daily woman, basis. So why no. would somebody say that you were actually going to marry her and then marry her? I mean, I wow. Know. That's a it's thing. So they, they went, they went and, and, and wrote that article. Um, but it's been something that people were talking about. And I've been asking people, think about it. Yeah. Plan a marriage. Did um, she not have any proof or anything? Mm. No. We don't, we don't know who she is. Yeah. I, I've been asking people to actually yeah. ask her to come out. I had a meeting with the newspaper. Yeah. I asked them, OK, if you guys think this is true, Please ask her to meet me at your offices. Yeah. And then you can write a story from that. Sure. So they, they called whatever number they called and they, they said she refused to come. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that that happened to yeah. you. Yeah. I, I hope it hasn't put a little bit of a, a flat oh, no. feeling honestly, honestly, on such it, a special was, time for you. It was hurtful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I wanted her to enjoy like every yeah. moment of, of the wording and for myself as well. But it, it wasn't as much as I think for me, it was yeah. heartbreaking because the, the article came in on, on a Sunday after the, the traditional wedding. Yeah. For me, it was like, oh, No, why? that's, that's yeah. that, that will cut you. But we thank the and Lord. And I think it's so sad where, you know, when you're in a position where you've got so many blessings and you mm. feel, you're filled with so much love in your life mm. that yes, people don't want to see you happy. So I really hope that you can overcome it and yes. just push through. We have. Really we just have. let your, your love have. shine <laughs> and build you and we, just wanna, we just want to thank people for, yeah. for supporting us and yeah. standing with us in prayer. Yeah. And, you know, just some people not believing everything that yeah. they see in the newspapers. We yeah. thank them and we, we appreciate the love and, and yeah. everything they do Your for life us. becomes what you choose to see and always exactly, choose the, yeah. to see the beauty in life. Yes, ignore Definitely. the darkness and ignore the yes, negativity. Yes, because South Africa loves you and you can just <laughs> tell by all of the social media that's been coming in. How many comments are there, Pali? Loads, I'm so, sure. Loads. Social media is blowing up, but it's love and lights all the way on Afternoon Express. So we've <laughs> asked you on socials, what relationship advice would you ask the newlyweds and we've got Ukomola yeah. Jacob and they asked what made them believe that they were ready to spend the rest of their lives together yeah that's a very good question, question right so I think more than anything we really rely on prayer yeah. um, we prayed about it um, he came to me and he was like because we would known each other forever for forever yeah. we've been friends and he came to me and he was like listen um, I really I just I've known you now and I know you and I've try to be with you yeah. but I feel like now I'm ready so I went and I prayed about it and really I just you know seeked counsel from God yeah. and yeah that was that's that's really how I knew I love him and yeah yeah and when I was 16 when I was 16 <laughs> I told my parents when they asked me who do I want to marry I said her oh. <laughs> so um, it was a blessing in disguise. Oh, well, yeah. I've been telling my mom since I was 16 that I want to marry Leonardo DiCaprio. So let's keep praying. <laughs> Good luck <laughs> we'll to that. Good luck to that.